sometimes it'll be we'll just be really just jamming, you know, and jiving, and it'll like sound like oh well, it's like really far out of range, but you know, the vocals and stuff, and it's just like you know, like riffing. I remember one particular cut uh, like that. I can't remember the name of it. The bridge of like forever. What about yeah, right. The chorus, that chorus what about thing. It? <laughs> We're talking about ad libbing stuff, just oh. letting it, just you know, sort of off the wall, let it rip sort of deal. How do you uh, determine like whose songs are going to be recorded, or once you record them, which songs are going to be out on album? Just whatever sounds right. Whoever hits the hardest, yells the loudest, <laughs> and, and has it, the biggest overdraft that month. Would you call it democratic in a way? Uh, yeah. Well, it, it really is obvious when you hear stuff here. Yeah. It's either democratic or communistic. Depends yeah. on how you look at it. But, like, do you all decide together? Yes, we all oh, decide yeah. together. Uh -huh. yes. Is that democratic? Or See, it all comes from, it, it's all, it's very happy. You know, you're, you're sitting around playing songs for people, and some things they like, others, they, you know, it, it's all good. It seems to be like a, a melting pot you know, in the studio. Well, Everything takes place in the studio. Uh, decisions of the songs. Well, look who's here. Yeah. Hi, Alan. Hi. There's some songs I think that uh, that are more uh, for an individual than a group. And of course, when we're, since we're doing a group a group album, it, although you write a lot of songs that maybe you see yourself singing.